Welcome back dear friends. Lately my weekends have been dedicated for artwork packing and hence this delay in uploading our regular YouTube tutorials. But don't worry, I have made a plan and a resolution to upload more interesting content and be more consistent here. So if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and join this small creative family. Also, before starting the video, let me wish you all a very happy, safe and creative year ahead. Now let's get started. I'm so excited about this painting. You might have seen a glimpse of the finished work. This is a beautiful stained glass pattern. You can find similar designs on Pinterest. This is a free printable version, but I've made my own changes in the design and I'll be painting on a perspex. You can feel free to use glass. Since the technique remains same for glass and perspex, you can always go for whatever is available at your place. I prefer to use perspex because it is unbreakable. I'll add all the details about the paints and the liner that I'm using for this painting in the description below. I'm not very satisfied with, with this particular glass liner that I recently bought. This is from a brand named Talents. I haven't tried this brand earlier but since I'm running short of all my other glass liners which is Pebio, Marabou or Camel, I had to choose something new which is available and had to try this one but unfortunately it didn't turn out really well or as expected. Maybe I'm yet to get used to this type of tubes but at least for this time I'm not happy. One thing that I've noticed which is different for this particular glass liner is uh, the body of the tube is plastic made and is flexible and it's much easier to get the air bubbles inside unlike the Pebio and Maribu metallic body. So right now you can notice that I'm trying hard to get even lines but still there are so many bumpy portions but I will let it dry for now and later come back and try to peel the excess paint off. You can also try this method whenever you are not happy with one particular portion of the glass liner. Instead of rubbing it off then and there before drying the liner, it's much better to leave it to dry and then peel off like this. So in this portion, I am using the silver liner and also will try to peel off this excess thick portion of liner. See, I have successfully done that. The design outline has been completely dried and now let's move on to the painting. I've taken various solvent based paints from brand Camel, Pebio, Glass Art and Amsterdam. These are the four brands that I have currently and I absolutely like most of them. So this is a new bright yellow shade from Glass Art. I've also tried one new brand not new brand it has been in market but i am buying it for um, kind of the second time so i've bought a couple of shades which are really good and pigmented the brand is amsterdam and i really like the consistency of the paint this yellow shade is from marabou glass art and this opaque yellow shade is from pebio as I've mentioned in my previous videos, I prefer to use the toothpick or a skewer for glass paintings of this size instead of using a brush. If you are new to glass painting or wish to see some basic designs, you can always check my complete playlist of glass paintings which has more than 100 glass painting videos. I hope all of those will be helpful. I'm not showing the entire process of painting because I know you guys might be knowing how to draw the outline or how to spread the paint. I'm just sharing the technique that I'm using here. So it will be something new and informative for you and you can also try in your upcoming projects. I often get questions about the brand of the paint I'm using. I am adding all the details about the paints that I am using in the descriptions of that particular video. But if those paints are not available at your place, please go and search for the good solvent based paints available at your place and go ahead with that. 
basically don't be afraid of trying out new things just experiment a lot and have fun in creating it's all about having fun in this process enjoying the process of creating as you can notice my plan in this particular design is to add some portions with green and other bright shades throughout this tree portion and in the landscape portion i'll add different shades of green and yellow and on the sky portion i'll add shades of blue if you are using brush to spread the paint the method that i use to clean the brush is to wipe off the paint then and there after usage with a white spirit i use from the brand talents and it works well for me till now now you may sit back and enjoy watching this painting process
Now the painting is completed and has dried thoroughly and I am moving on to adding details using various glass liners. I always enjoy this particular segment and it is so therapeutic to add all these tiny details without any rules or restrictions and I just go with the flow. I am using various glass liners of golden, black and silver shade. Also somebody has commented that this is my signature step and I also feel that I feel my painting is incomplete without these dotted lines and it is so special to me it, fe it feels like it adds some sort of more excitement into the artwork. This is how I'm completing this artwork and I'm so happy with the end result. Look at all the details. It makes it more special. After completion, I'll place this artwork in a square white box frame and I hope it will elevate and complement the beauty of this artwork. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video. And if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye for now. Take care.